Put your seat belt on. Oh, yeah. Click. <laughs> oh, Auntie. What? You need to put your seat belt on too. <laughs> Auntie. What? You're supposed to make it click. Uh, I'll click your face if you don't mind your own business. <laughs> well, if we have a crash, Auntie, you could go flying through this windscreen. What, you really think I'm going to fly through this windscreen? Gosh. What a nice thing to say. <laughs> anyway, look. It doesn't matter, we're only here at the drive through but we're waiting for that car to go so we can order some food. Okay, but when we get out into the open road, Auntie, you should put your seatbelt on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's the story, huh? What movie are we going to? The one at Cinema One, Auntie. Cinema One? How can we go back to Cinema One after what happened last time? Huh? Remember when we went there? Gosh, you got bad memory. <laughs> what? Remember the seats were too small for you? And then I had to keep you company by sitting in the aisle? <laughs> and remember when the usher was trying to make a pass at me? <laughs> yeah. Auntie, the usher was trying to make it past you. He couldn't, so he went and got the manager. The manager came out and kicked you out because you were a fire hazard. You mean up to this day you still don't understand what he meant by I was a fire hazard? Oh. What did he mean? The reason why he said I was a fire hazard is because I was too hot. <laughs> so what's the story? You want me to come to the movie? You don't want me to come? What's, what's happening? I'm going with a friend, Auntie. Well, then why don't you talk to me? Well, I'm telling you now. Oh, okay. If I met her before, see, what's, what's her name? <laughs> it's a man. It's a what? <laughs> it's a what? <laughs> it's a man. Is a man like a male? Yes. Wow. What? No, it's not that. What? It's not that I don't believe you. It's not that I don't believe you. Well, what is it? It's just, I mean, look at you. So what, is he all right? Is he all there? Is he... Yes, he's fine. Does he have a guide dog or something? <laughs> He is fine, Auntie. Oh, okay. Hey, shh. What? Is he a Samoan? What does it matter, Auntie? What I mean is, is he a Samoan straight from Samoa? <laughs> huh? What does it matter if he's straight from Samoa? Because I know what they're like. They all after just one, one thing, the same thing. What? Starts with the letter S. What? Citizenship. <laughs> He's all there and he's fine, Auntie. He's gonna be there when I get to the movie theater, which, are, which is a lot more than your boyfriend that none of us have seen. This boyfriend from overseas. Are you still seeing him? Of course, it's just a long distance relationship. Really? Yeah. We're still playing these internet love games. It's so cute. What love games? You know, where I send him an email and he doesn't even reply. <laughs> Yeah, how did all of that start anyway, Auntie? Well, I was at home and I was on this dating website, onlyafaceofmothercouldlove.com. <laughs> Sounds desperate. Oh, don't be fooled by the name of the website. There's even famous Hollywood people on there. Like who? Like that um, actor on Titanic, Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh, that was before he got married. 
Anyway, while I was out there, I was doing some work until I started to get all these messages in my inbox, all these notifications came up. But ding, ding. <laughs> <Boing. laughs> and I was really curious about it. So I thought, okay, I'm going to see who that is. So I grabbed my rat and I just click on it. Um, Auntie, yeah. I think you grabbed the mouse. It's a mouse. No, no, it's a lot bigger than a mouse. <laughs> so I just click on it. Yes. And then all of a sudden, all these pictures of this young, strong, strong and man came up on there. Lot of money. We, that sounds very suspicious to me, Auntie. I think someone was trying to con you. No, 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 no. That's when I met, I was emailing him. Yes. And then I said, look, I want to talk to you tonight. But he said something was wrong with his telephone. He needs to fix it. So I sent him some money to fix his telephone. How much money? Only $5,000. Auntie, you're not going to see that money again. You are being ripped off. No, no, don't worry about it. I wasn't worried about the money because I know he's filthy rich. It's just all his money was frozen in a bank because he's going through a divorce with his wife. <gasps> he was leaving her for me. No, I'm, I'm so. Because he told me he showed her my photo and she can't believe how beautiful I am. And she, when she saw it, she was like. <laughs> And she said, oh no, it's game over. And he said, he said, yeah, I know, because she's a game changer. Auntie, it sounds like a scam. Oh, that's exactly what she was. She was a scam. She was only in it for his money. No, he's the scamster. Oh no, that's what I thought. And I, I thought, no, you know what? Don't worry about phone call. I want to see you face to face. So tonight, go on your computer and we're going to spike each other. And then what happened? Oh, just when I, it was dark, I couldn't see much, but I, I saw his eyes, I saw his beautiful white teeth, and when he smiled, oh, that's when I knew. He's a con? No, he was still there. He wasn't con. <laughs> and then when he started talking, oh, it was his accent really caught me. My knees were like, Back home. I was like a rapper, I was like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, was it a Tongan accent, Tanti? No, no, it sounded more like Nigerian. <laughs> Well, there you go, Auntie. No, that's when I confronted him. I said, what's the story? First you're Tongan, now you're Nigerian. Then he explained, he's an FBI agent. <laughs> And he was undercover as a Tonga, but now he's going undercover as a Nigerian to uncover all those Nigerian scams. And I said, good on you, because I don't know anyone who would fall for that type of thing. Well, at least you got a free trip out of it to Bali, eh, auntie? Yeah, it was the first time I ever flown first class economy. <laughs> Never mind, you ended up in jail, but at least you weren't there for long. Yeah, well, I wasn't really. I was only there for two hours. New Zealand ambassador came and got me up because he heard it was um, overcrowding. But then the prison officer said to the ambassador, it wasn't overcrowding before she went in. <laughs> I think the other prisoners want to have a crush on me. Because <laughs> I already crushed them. <laughs> so where is he now, this mysterious man of yours? Oh, now he's un undercover on a big mission. He's gone undercover in the South Pacific to uncover big scam. Millions and millions of dollars have been misused in the South Pacific. Oh, so what's he doing? He's going to go undercover on the board of the Samoan Rugby Union. <laughs> what are you doing, Auntie? Are you... Changing gear or going for a swim? No, oh, it's a two-wheel drive. <laughs> oh, that car's gone. We can order some food now. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't know if they still got windows like this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. A 
can we order some fake plates? Thank you. Um, can we have a chicken chow mein combination fried rice, also seafood, egg for young, some plain rice? Can we have a dozen wonton and also some um, pork buns and some chicken wings? Yeah, can we have an egg burger, cheese burger, steak burger, and ham burger? <laughs> can I also have some vegetables? What's the important way? Some vegetables, please. Or vegetables? Yeah. Broccoli. Huh? Broccoli. Can we have some broccoli? <laughs> Yeah, but just enough so that you can't see it. <laughs> and our two diet cook plays. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm so hungry, I can't wait. Oh, thank you, auntie. Oh, what, what do you want to order? <laughs> <laughs>